Today, we're having superhero babies in Minecraft. Whoa, Dax, look, I'm Batman. Whoa, you're Batman. And whoa, look at this. It looks like I'm Spider-Man. You look so cool. Yeah, you look super cool too. But let's go ahead and hit this spot hero baby thing and see what our babies look like. And whoa, look at this, Zoe. I have a Dax spider baby. And I have a Zoe Batman baby. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. Okay, Zoe, while we're making our superhero builds, we should probably put them in a really secure place. That way, nothing happens to them. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Are you going to build? Build something yeah let me go ahead and get something super strong like some reinforced glass that would be super cool okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is build out some walls like this i'll cover it all in the middle with reinforced glass and if you didn't know you really can't break this with anything like even a nuclear bomb can't break reinforced glass are you serious i had no idea yeah it is like super super strong let me go ahead and finish this out so i can build up both their rooms okay now that i have this huge enclosure let me go ahead and place down some bunker doors which means it's super super hard to get inside and then how about i keep each one of them a couch i'll give mine a lime couch and i'll give yours a purple couch since that's your favorite color perfect all right i'll put the green couch on this side the purple couch on that side and now let's go ahead and grab our babies and put them both inside of here all i have to do is pick up this little guy and perfect let's go throw him inside and perfect now that both our babies are inside of there let's go ahead and close our doors and then we are still building our super awesome sides and since i'm spider-man i think it'd be a super good idea if i built like a huge city over here that sounds so awesome and since i'm batman i think i need to do a bat cave whoa a bat cave would be super awesome Awesome. Okay, good luck with that, Zoe. I'm gonna start building my city. Okay, but just make sure there's no intruders that come into my base. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make a big lava moat around the outside of my city, just to make it super difficult for anyone to get inside. Ooh, I think for my bat cave, I'm gonna do a secret underground tunnel. Whoa, a secret underground tunnel? How are you even gonna do that, Zoe? I think I'm gonna build it with some redstone. Whoa, that would be super cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Okay, this is gonna be the entrance to my city right here, and on the outside, I'm gonna go ahead and build a big bedrock wall just to make it impossible for anyone to get inside. Okay, the bedrock wall is looking pretty good and then i gotta stack it up like four blocks in the sky just to make it hard and also to make it super impossible for anyone to get inside i'm gonna add a huge bunker door and basically this thing is like impossible to open you're gonna have to either have the secret passport or be super strong to do that but now i can start building the buildings and i think i'm gonna add in let's say like four different buildings let's go ahead and start on the first one which i think i'm gonna make like an arcade and a gaming area let me just go ahead and grab some oak planks like this and then i can start stacking it up super high in the sky okay i'll add one building to that side over there i have a little space in the middle and then i'll go ahead and build the other one right about here dex i think i'm done with my secret tunnel oh are you can i come check it out yeah come on over okay let me open up my super big blast door like that and perfect and uh zoe wait a second where in the world is your secret underground base dex it's secret for a reason you can't see it right away uh okay and wait what does this lever do go ahead and flick it okay let's see and whoa wait did this open an underground floor yep it sure did oh my gosh is that we're gonna put all the bat case stuff yep isn't it awesome that is so cool so once i press it again it like closes up and oh my gosh Zoe, that is so cool how'd you even do that i'm just super talented dex what in the world you literally got the smarts of batman with your superhero powers that's so cool thanks dex okay well somebody's base is already looking super cool let me go ahead and catch up and i think the first thing i need to do is make some big pillars for my building let me go ahead and click one corner here one corner over here and then we can stack it super high and i'm thinking something like 50 blocks in the sky and whoa that looks so so cool okay let me get a bunch of oak planks so i can stack those up as well and man this is already looking super cool let me go ahead and see what it looks like from the outside and man this building is absolutely ginormous okay since this building is made out of oak logs and oak planks maybe i should make the other one out of green since that is my favorite color we'll make all the pillars out of these lime concrete blocks but on the inside we'll make it out of lime wool just to be extra special Ooh, i think i'm gonna start working on the bat kitchen first uh wait a second Zoe. what in the world is a bat kitchen i swear i've never heard of that before don't worry about it dax uh okay well, I'm making super tall buildings and they honestly look pretty cool right now. I think you're going to be a little bit jealous. You think so, do you? Yeah, but you're going to have to see it whenever you come back out here since you're all the way in the ground now. Okay, let me go ahead and add some doors for each one of these sides and perfect. Which one do I want to start in first though? Maybe I start this side and I could go ahead and build a few different rooms. We're definitely going to need ourselves a lot of ladders if we're going to get up between floors. And I said I wanted to make an arcade. So let's go ahead and build an arcade on the first floor, which is going to be right here. Let me just grab all the arcade machines I need. And whoa, these ones look super cool. I should also probably grab some glass just so it's not all
all depressing and dark inside of here let's go ahead and light up all these walls with glass something like this and oh my gosh i literally have the perfect view of just a line block right outside my window that's how big the other building is okay like i said now i need to go ahead and add in these machines this one is pong i also have a pac-man machine and i have a tetris machine and then i also have a snake machine i kind of want to play one of these let's see which one do i want to use in the pack did look cool but i also kind of want to play snake let's see how fun this is okay here we go i think you play snake by collecting the little cube and then your snake gets bigger oh, let's see it oh my gosh look at that it got bigger let's go ahead and see how big of a snake we can make and man i've barely been playing but look how big my snake is already getting this is kind of crazy it is getting a lot faster too oh gosh i don't know how long i'll be able to do this for and this one's also super super low to the edge okay i gotta be really careful let's turn to the left and perfect oh man this one is right next to the edge let me see if i can do this come on come on come on i'm super good i'm super good and whoa look at that i made it right on the edge i am like super talented at this my score is already 20. okay i have another one pretty close to the wall let me see come on i'm sure i can do this and oh my gosh i hit the wall i only had a score of 23 that's so lame i only got like two tickets well i guess the arcade room is already looking pretty good i'm gonna have to build a whole lot of floors since i made this like 50 blocks tall i should make this next for the petting zoo that'd be so awesome okay let's go ahead and add in some blocks here and i'm definitely gonna have to extend the building out in a couple directions if i want a petting zoo and in order to make this petting zoo we're gonna need a bit of grass so let me go ahead and get that and then i'll stack it let's say like uh 10 blocks in that direction and whoa this is gonna be such a big zoo let's go ahead and build out our walls next i'll also go ahead and make the roof out of this out of glass just so the animals can actually see outside because we don't want them to feel like they're in captivity or something even though they kind of are what the heck dax you're putting animals in cages uh zoe i'm making a zoo so i kind of have to put the animals in cages but i'm giving them a lot of space don't worry okay just treat them very good oh don't worry i am gonna treat them super good let me just go ahead and throw in some water so they have a bunch of stuff to drink and then i'm probably gonna need to get some bone meal that way i can put grass everywhere and don't worry Zoe, they're gonna have so much stuff this is probably gonna be way better than nature now let me go ahead and add in a couple trees and of course i have to kind of build these out because this is a little bit of a tight space and oh gosh maybe i should make the roof a bit taller there we go that's looking a lot better okay let me go ahead and raise this tree up a little bit like that and perfect now i can make like a full-size tree now i need to go ahead and add glass to the front just to make sure none of the animals escape something just like that and perfect and i guess for the petting zoo we can get like some pigs and we can get some cows and just throw them all in here and actually i think i'm gonna name this one pig bob because he's gonna be like the extra special animal oh bob what a cute name yeah he's like a super super cute pig so you actually want to come check out my little zoo yep that sounds awesome okay so let me let you inside of my awesome gate like there and boom look at those blast doors it's super hard to get in it if you don't have like a passcode or anyone inside to help you whoa those are super cool and on one side i have my super big green building and on the other side i have the other like oak building and this is where the petting zoo in the arcade is fun what animals do you have i have pigs and i have cows and look at this this is the arcade room there's a bunch of different games if you wanted to play anything Ooh, this one's snake yeah snake is super fun but it's really really long it's super difficult i think while you're playing snake i might actually play some pac-man i'm gonna play tetris okay let's see who can survive longest <laughs> even though they're completely different games it's probably gonna be me you're not very good at games no way i am super good look at this i'm already eating a bunch of ghosts i've eaten like two different ghosts already whatever you say dax there goes two ghosts now i'm going on oh gosh wait a second they're catching up to me oh god the pink ghost is getting close it's perfect i got another one of those little ball things and wait what the heck the cyan ghost is coming at me oh no zoe this is not looking good i'm getting trapped into a corner you okay no i'm trying my best and oh perfect i got another one of those balls let me go eat more ghosts much 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 i'm eating all of them this is so easy zoe and, oh gosh wait a second they turn they turn back oh no i'm getting trapped i'm getting trapped and oh the blue ghost took me out okay you might have been right you might have lasted longer than me yeah i'm not surprised oh dang it i lost wait how many tickets did you get though zoe only two you only got two tickets huh i got like 12 tickets look at that no thanks i don't want your tickets uh fine i'll just keep all the tickets for myself then let's just move on to the little petting zoo Woohoo! petting zoo okay i might have said petting zoo but you're not allowed to pet any of the animals they are like totally sensitive what the heck i, I wanted to feed them no you can't feed them only i can feed them but look at this i have a cow i have a pig and then i have another pig named bob back there oh hi bob yeah he's super adorable but this is basically my base so far what have you added yet um i've added a kitchen i've added a baby room I've added an archery station. Wait, what the heck? You added in so much stuff. I want to go check it out. Okay. Okay, so all we have to do is flick this little lever down here. It perfect. Now I can drop into the bat cave. And whoa, this is so cool down here. Thanks, Stacks. It's not completely finished yet, but I can show you the kitchen. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the kitchen. And whoa, it is super dark in here. Zoe, you need like some torches or something. Let me get you some nice glowstone. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I'll just smack some glowstone here and some glowstone here. And why are there a bunch of like scary rugs on the floor? This is kind of freaking me out. They're cute. 
cute. Uh, I don't really think they're cute. They're kind of horrifying, but hey, your kitchen looks pretty cool. Thanks, Dax. It has everything you could possibly need. Yeah, you have a nice little sink, a blender, a radio, another blender, and a bunch of cabinets. Okay, this is pretty sick and wool. You even have ceiling fans? Yep, just so the air circulation's pretty good down here. Whoa, your bat cave is literally looking so cool. Okay, have you built anything else yet? Um, not really. Okay, well, let me go check out. You have like a bunch of doors and a bunch of sides. Let's see. Oh, you have a bat roller coaster that's coming, bat parkour, a bat room, a bat cave, and a bat archer. Wow, there's a bunch of cool stuff that you're gonna make. Thanks, Dax, but I have to get back to work because I want to finish in time. Okay, okay, let me go back to my base so we can start building it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up, okay? Okay, sounds good. Whoa, that is such a cool mechanism that she could just hide her base. Okay, now I'm super inspired. Let me go ahead and add in some more stuff. Let me make sure to throw in a bit of glass so it doesn't look all depressing and sad inside of here too. Okay, let's go ahead and add in a bit more ladder so I can move on to the next floor. And let's see, what do I want to build next? Zoe did have like an archer area. I guess she's having like a little training area for her baby. So what if I do the same thing and also build out an archery area over here? Okay, let's start by making a big floor like this. And then I'm going to stack it out pretty far. The next thing we should probably do is build in some walls. And perfect, I'll make this archer area super tall. And let's go ahead and add glass to the top. Since I like adding glass because you can see like the weather and stuff. Now that I have all the glass installed, let's go ahead and add in some fence where basically all the archery is going to start at. And we should probably also get a chest with a bow and arrow in it. Next up, we can get some archery targets. Let's go ahead and place these all around the room in a bunch of different spots. And we're also going to put some of them kind of high up just to make it super, super challenging. Okay, we'll just go ahead and add in a few more. And perfect, my archery room is actually looking pretty cool right now. And man, this looks really difficult. Let me go ahead and try it out real quick. Okay, I'll take the archer bow like this. And boom, look at that. I'm hitting all the targets, man. I am so good at archery, Zoe. I'm way better at archery than you. Yeah, I seriously doubt that. I'm practically a pro. What the heck? I bet I can hit more of them faster than you can hit more of them. I don't think so at all. You are not very good at archery. Well, come over here. Let's have a challenge. Okay, Zoe, how about you go first and I'll keep a timer to see how fast you went. Sounds good. Okay, go ahead and start shooting. You have a bunch of targets to hit and I'm sure I could do it faster because you have 10 and I don't think you could do it. And whoa, you're already hitting the targets so quick. Yeah, I'm really good at this, Dax. I don't know why you even doubt me. What the heck? How are you so good with a bow and arrow? This doesn't even make any sense. That's just who I am. It's in my blood. Okay, you only have three targets left and oh my goodness, you literally haven't even missed yet and oh my gosh, you hit them all in like 15 seconds. Yeah, what were you saying, Dax? Okay, don't worry. I can do even better. Watch this, Zoe. Okay, good luck. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Watch how fast I can go. Come on, come on, come on. I have to do this. And man, yours might be a lot faster than mine, but mine are super, super accurate. Yikes, you are really slow. What the heck? I literally just finished, and I swear I finished like a second faster than you. No, you finished in like 20 seconds, but I finished in 15. What the heck? Ah, oh, fine. Okay, I'm gonna keep practicing. I'm gonna get a lot better. Okay, Dax, good luck. Okay, now that my archery room is done, let's go ahead and add in another floor. I think for this next room, I wanna add like a super cool pool. That'd be really fun. So let me go ahead and grab some blocks and let's see, what do I wanna make it out of? Ooh, let's go ahead and use diamonds just to show everyone that I'm like super, super rich. We'll go ahead and curve out the pool and I kinda don't wanna go over the archery area. So let's kinda make sure it's away from it like that. Okay, let me just fill in a few more sections and I also don't wanna go too far where it hits the green building since I want the green building to also be pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and grab ourselves some nice slabs. And I think I'm gonna use sandstone slabs because it kind of reminds me of the beach. All we have to do is fill this up all the way on the outside and then we can place all our water in it. Since we have these, our water won't actually leak out. Let's also make sure to grab ourselves a fence gate. That way the water doesn't leak out over here. And then we can just open those and come with whatever they want. Now we can just fill all of this up with water. And perfect. Our pool looks pretty good. But I kind of want to add one more section that I think I'm gonna have a lot of glass in. Let's go ahead and build another platform right over here. Like I said, it's gonna be made out all glass so that way you can just see down and look over everything now all we have to do is add in some sandstone slabs like this and then we can just add in a bit more water like this and honestly i should probably break apart all this sandstone right here I also want people to know that the floor is actually switching. So I think I'm going to add in some red right here. That way people could actually see it and notice that the floor is going to change. And oh gosh, I have all the water leaking now. Oh gosh, this isn't good. Hopefully it doesn't land in any of my lava. Let's see how far is this going to go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. And oh, thank goodness it didn't go to any of my lava. That would have been bad. Okay, let's fly back up here and then we can finish up this carpet. And perfect. Our little pour air is actually looking pretty good. Our little Spider-Man base is looking so cool. And actually, since I built a little pull out, why don't I build a water slide at the top of this one? Let's go ahead and cover all this flooring up. And then I got to get some some stuff to make the slide. Let's get ourselves some fence gates just to make sure no one can fall off. And then I think I'm gonna make the slide out of dark oak just so it's a little bit different than everything else. But I'm gonna want this to make a lot of really cool looms and make a lot of cool turns. And I want to go all the way down to the bottom of our base. And hey, Zoe, how's your little bat cave going? It's going really good. 
Well, what are you working on right now? I'm working on the baby's room. Oh, the baby's room. Wait, I haven't even built the baby's room. That's probably a good idea since this house is like meant for my baby. Uh, yeah, that would be a good idea, Dex. Maybe I'll go ahead and work on that next. And maybe I'll actually put all that type of stuff in the green building since that's my favorite color and it matches. That's a good idea. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep finishing out my water slide. This is going to be like the most epic water slide you've ever seen in your life, Zoe. Uh, okay. I'll be the judge of that. Okay. Now I just have to curve it a little bit more so I can end. And perfect. I can have my water slide end like right over here. This looks like a good spot. Now I need to go back and add in a bunch of side railing just so none of the water leaks out. Okay, now that all the side railing is in, let me go ahead and slap in some water so the super awesome slide can be built. And oh gosh, it's already going over the edge. Okay, I completely messed up some parts of this slide. This is not looking good already. There we go. Now this is looking a lot better. Let me go ahead and wrap the water down over here. And perfect. I think my water slide looks really awesome. And whoa, this first building is literally the coolest thing ever. But thinking about it, I don't think I added in any defenses. Maybe I should add in a few different lasers to the outside. Side. Let's go ahead and grab some bedrock and then I can line it up all the way across the walls. Okay, perfect. Now that I have all the bedrock added, all I need to do is put one of these shield pads down, put a laser on top, and look at that. Now we have a bunch of lasers. Let's go ahead and put these shield pads all the way around and then I'll go back and add a bunch of lasers in. Okay, now that I have all these shield pads down, let me go ahead and start smacking all these lasers and my base is going to be super, super secure. And perfect. Now that I have all the lasers added in, my base looks ultra, ultra cool. But I still do have to build this big green side, which I think I'm going to add like the baby's room man and a couple other things where I could actually get the baby to be a spider man. Let me also add in a pathway since I haven't done that yet. I don't want to just use normal grass. That's kind of boring. I also want to add in a bit of post where I could put glowstone just like that. Just like some nice little lamps. Hey Zoe, I've done with like my first huge build. Do you want to check out my side real quick? Yeah, that sounds like so much fun. I'll be right over. Okay, Zoe, let me go ahead and give you a huge tour. And why are you breaking my grass? I didn't mean to. Oh my gosh. You just got to my base and you're already destroying it. I'm sorry. Okay, look, come inside of here and I'll give you a nice tour. Right now, I don't have anything in the green side. So we're going to go on the nice oak plank side. Ooh, this is very snazzy. Something I've never seen before. Okay, okay. I know you saw the arcade room and I know you saw the petting room. So we're going to go past those because they're kind of boring right now. Not boring. I've just already seen them. Yeah, you have already seen them. And I guess you already saw the Archer Tower too. Oh man, we have to go to like the fourth floor. Okay, Dax, come on. Show me the good stuff. Okay, Zoe, this is where I have my huge pool. And I have one part that was over here that's like covered and stuff. But on the other side, I have a bunch of glass. So you can see all the way down while you're swimming. Wow, that is so cool. And you know how much I love swimming. Exactly. Exactly. It's so much fun. I, honestly, I'm thinking about putting in like a deep end. What do you think? That would be such a good idea. And you should make the deep end made out of glass. Oh, the deep end out of glass would be super cool. Okay, maybe I can actually make that real quick. All I have to do is select two sides over here here and then i think i just have to like stack it downward and perfect look at that okay now we have a bunch of glass so all i need to do is carve out the inside of this and i think i can do that with a little basic command and boom look at that zoe now we have a deep end that's made entirely out of glass this is beyond cool yeah that was honestly such a great idea good job zoe thanks dax okay now let me go ahead and show you the next part where i actually have my super awesome water slide that gets you down to the bottom Ooh, a water slide that sounds like so much fun okay whenever you're ready you can just hop on the water slide and go all the way down it's actually super fun Fun. Ooh, this is awesome. Yep, and it's super fast. And even in the middle of it, it goes between my two buildings, which I thought was pretty cool. That is super cool. And like I said, this takes you all the way down to the bottom. So you don't have to worry about taking like boring ladders or anything. You can have fun going down a water slide every time. Why can't every place has this? I know it was such a great idea. And boom, there's the ending right there. You can just jump over and now you're back on the floor. Sweet. Well, Zoe, what do you think about my build so far? It is super awesome. And I can't wait to see what you did with the green side. But do you want to come check out my base? Yeah, I'm definitely going to make the green side super cool, but I would love to check out your base and see what you've added. Let's go. Okay, Zoe, we're back down in your little bat cave. So what have you done so far? Well, first you have to come check out the kitchen because I switched it up a little bit. Whoa, look at this. You made the walls all cool and stuff. Okay, this does look a lot better now. Yep, and it's pretty lit. Yeah, you added in a bunch of glowstone, so now I can actually see inside of here. Sweet. I'm so glad you liked it. Now follow me this way. Okay, what's the next thing you did? Come with me to the bat room. Whoa, the bat room. And whoa, is this supposed to be your kid's room? Yep. This is where they're going to play. Honestly, this does look super, super cool. But wait a second. Why is this tent black? Because I'm Batman. Oh, I thought you were making one for my kid too. Oh, man. I thought our kids were going to have like a play date or something. Well, they can still play. It's just following the scheme of Zoe as a Batman. Okay. I definitely understand that. I also started on some parkour. Wait, you started on parkour? And what the heck? Wait, why do you have parkour inside of your base? It's going to be like a training center so I can train my baby. What the? So you're going to train your baby? Yep. And she's going to do so good. Good. Oh my gosh. Okay, your Batcave is totally crazy. I'm gonna go back to my little Spider-Man build. Zoe did add in a bunch of cool stuff and she added a 
it gave me some motivation to add some training stuff for my kit. So why don't I add a bit of cool stuff to my green side? I think the first thing I'm going to add it is a bit of parkour. And we're going to go ahead and make like a big spiral so the kid has to practice. Now let's go ahead and get some ladders. So he has to do ladder parkour. And man, ladder parkour is honestly some of like the most difficult parkour. I'm not even good at it. Let me just add in a few more jumps like this. And then I'll go ahead and end it off with some glowstone right about here. Let's also go ahead and cover in a bit of this. I can't cover it all of it because there's some of this stuff here and it probably wouldn't work out very well. But I think most of that stuff right there could get covered in. I think the next thing I want to build out is like a battle arena where my kid's going to have to practice fighting. And perfect. Okay, I'm in a really big hallway. Let's go ahead and get some glass just kind of spice it up a little bit. And my idea for this is I'm going to have dispensers back there that shoot out like a bunch of crazy creatures that the kid's going to have to practice again. Let's make sure to grab ourselves a nice little fence and we'll also put a gated area in the middle like that. Next up, let's go ahead and grab some dispensers. And this is where I'm going to put a bunch of mobs inside. And I'm thinking for this, I want to add in some skeletons. And perfect, that should be good. Now let's go ahead and get some redstone so I can connect everything. I'll also make sure to add an armor stand. That way the kid actually has armor to fight with. Otherwise, it'd be super difficult. And whoa, this sword looks super cool. It's called the End Crystal Sword. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and throw that in there so they can practice with it. Now, like I said, I need to go ahead and run the redstone. And let me get a sign that says this releases the mob so no one accidentally presses it. And now that I have this, let me go ahead and route the redstone all the way to the back where the dispensers are. All I have to do is route it back in this direction like this. And perfect, that should run pretty well. Let me go ahead and test this. All they have to do is press this lever and oh my gosh, look at that. A bunch of different skeletons spawned. And if I was actually fighting them, I could take this super cool sword and just open this and then beat all of them up. And they're so easy to defeat because I'm super strong. But I think this will be a good amount of training since we want the kid to be Spider-Man after all. And what the heck? That skeleton just blew up. Oh my gosh, it just blew up this entire thing and I have to build it again. Okay, those skeletons are super, super dangerous. I have to be a lot more careful next time. Okay, last, we have to add in the redstone again like that. And now I think everything should work again. I am definitely not spotting it more skeletons right now though because they just completely blew everything up okay well now that that is done let's go ahead and build the next part of this and of course in order to get up there we're gonna have more parkour since this is training after all let's just throw on some pretty easy parkour jumps and up here is actually where i'm thinking i'm gonna build the baby's bedroom at they're gonna have to do good and do all this parkour if they want to make it up and perfect this looks like a pretty good spot how about we build the baby's room right here and perfect okay the room is basically built out let's go ahead and get a bunch of stuff that we would have used and of course i'm gonna grab a bunch of live stuff i'm gonna go ahead and put the bed in the corner right over here here. I also want to throw out some fun stuff. So let's go ahead and add like a drum kit right over here. And I'll also add like a nice big couch inside of here. I can also probably go ahead and add a sink and a little dresser with a nice alarm clock on top of it. Maybe I should extend this out a little bit just so there's a bit more room for like the drum set and stuff. Perfect. That's looking really good. Let's see. What else could I throw in for the baby's room? Oh yeah. It's probably a good idea if I throw in like a nice little stroller over here and probably some baby bottles. Okay. Now that that's built out, let's go ahead and go up to the last part, which is going to be a huge race area. Let's go ahead and throw in some more parkour that the baby's going to have to do if they want to be a professional Spider-Man just like me. Okay, I think we just have a few more jumps and yeah, we're almost already to the top. Okay, this is perfect. And boom, just like that, we made it all the way up to the top. Let's go ahead and cover in some of this area over here. Up here is what I want to build that big racetrack. So let's go ahead and get some black concrete and probably some yellow concrete as well. We're going to build a racetrack that goes all the way to the bottom. Whatever is the fastest is like the best driver ever. And man, this is honestly looking a little bit similar to the water slide. Hopefully it isn't too fast and like all the race cars go flying off everywhere. But once I'm done making this big racetrack area, I'm going to go ahead and add in some ride. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some side rails just to make sure no one falls off because that would be super bad okay and like the water slide we're also gonna end at the bottom over here so let's go ahead and add that part and perfect that looks pretty good let's go back and add some of the yellow concrete and perfect okay i added a bunch of walls into the racetrack now everything should be good let me go ahead and grab a few race cars okay i'll just add in a bit of fence and then i have a couple go karts and let me go ahead and test out this racetrack and see actually how hard it is and oh gosh wait this is already super difficult i already fell off the bumpers oh my goodness this is so hard and oh god i flew off completely Okay, that is going to be extremely difficult. I don't even know who's good enough to do that. But looking at my entire base, this thing looks super, super cool. And I think I might have one of the best superhero builds ever. Let me go ahead and make one of the cars green and one of them purple. And this is like the perfect base ever. Okay, so wait, me and you have built like the coolest superhero bases first. And I think it's time to check out and see who's actually best. This is going to be awesome. Who's are we seeing first? Let's go ahead and check out mine since mine's on the surface and it's probably the easiest to look at. Okay, sounds good. All right. Well, if you come over this way, and make sure to be super careful with your baby because there's a bunch of like dangerous lasers and stuff okay let's do it all you have to do is walk through this bunker door and boom you're onto your first part and actually which building do you want to check out first the oak side or the live side well considering i've seen the oak side a lot let's see the green side okay come on over to the green side and this is actually training for my kid there's a bunch of parkour that he's gonna have to do if he wants to actually become spider-man like me this is gonna be awesome
awesome. Yeah, the parkour is super, super difficult. But after you get all the training done, you should be pretty much good to go. And oh gosh, I already messed up one of the jumps. So I'm not even Spider-Man. What's going on? Dex, you're not setting a good example for your baby. Okay, look, let me just try it again. I think I just missed the jump. And oh my gosh, my head literally just hit this thing. That's why I messed up. That wasn't even my fault, Zoe. You're such a silly goose. But also, you're the one who built it. So it kind of is your fault. Yeah, I guess I am the one that built it. But okay, look at this part. This next part is a little training area. And actually, let me go ahead and go to survival so I can show you. All you have to do is go ahead into this chest, grab some golden apples, and I'm not even gonna put on the armor since I'm so confident. Okay, good luck. All I have to do is grab this sword here, flick this lever, and boom, look, a bunch of skeletons spawned. Whoa, be careful, Dax. You're getting hit with arrows. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, there's a lot of skeletons, and they have a bunch of arrows. Come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. And man, their arrows are super powerful. Use your sword, Dax. That's what I'm trying to do. And what the heck? They just blew up. Yikes, Dax. It ruined some of your builds. Uh, I have no idea what happened, and I have no idea why that skeleton blew up. But, uh, yeah, that was supposed to be a trading area. Well, I got some golden apples when you exploded. Well, I guess that's pretty cool. Let's just move on to the next one. And what the heck? Wait, baby Dax is down. Oh, no, your baby died. And, wait a second. Where did he go? He must have went somewhere. He must have respawned. And, oh, my gosh. So, wait, look, he's right back. See, nothing even bad happened. Well, that's good, at least. Okay, the next part, if you want to do, you have to do a bunch of parkour in order to get up. And like I said, I'm going to get a bunch of parkour because if my baby wants to be Spider-Man, he's going to have to be like a professional all this stuff yeah but since i'm batman i could just fly what the heck so i know you can't fly you're just missing the room what room there's a baby room right here that you totally just passed up this is where my baby lives oh this is super cute but uh what if he falls uh he won't fall because he's spider-man duh oh okay yep i have a couch for him i have a nice little drum set i even have a really cool bed and i also have this alarm clock here oh i love drum sets yeah it is pretty cool but okay come up here Zoe. this is where the most fun part of this whole build is if you fly up to the top i actually have a race course that me and you're going to compete on Ooh, a race course? That sounds so much fun. Yep, and I gave you a purple go-kart and I have a green one and then we can both ride them to see whose is the best. This is gonna be awesome, but yours is already in the front. That's not fair. Okay, fine, then you can go ahead. And oh my God, Zoe, you just drove off. Okay, I beat you to the bottom. What the heck? You can't do that, Zoe. That's literally cheating. How? You have to complete that course legitimately like I am. I did. Oh my gosh, you literally just flew off, Zoe. That is complete cheating. Just say that you're not a daredevil like me. What the heck? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna beat this course fair and square. And look at you, you're already riding around on the bottom. This is just ridiculous. Yay, Dex, look, I'm doing donuts. Oh my goodness, I can't believe you actually cheated. But look, I made it down to the bottom legitly, so that means I won. Good job, Dex. Okay, Zoe, well now it's time for us to check out your Batman build. Let's go see what everything looks like down there. Okay, let's go. Of course, you have to hit that lever. And whoa, that is so cool. Come with me this way. Okay, let's see it. Okay, we have the bat kitchen first. Let me see if you made any changes here. Yeah, I made one change. Let's go ahead and see it. Whoa, you added like a big lava found at the end of the kitchen. That is really cool. Yeah, it is super cool cool and we can use it to cook it's also a little dangerous though. what if like one of the babies falls in there they won't and if they do natural selection what the heck that is so messed up okay and now here is the bat archer room okay the bat archer room wait this one says level one and oh my gosh you have a bunch of targets set up and why is my baby over there uh i guess she was practicing or something i don't know oh she's a hard worker okay let me go ahead and try level one i'll just shoot that one and boom that was way too easy level one sucks well that's why it's level one dax it's supposed to be super easy okay let's see what level two looks like and whoa these are a lot further but don't worry i'm a professional since i am spider-man and i can take these all out with no problems at all good job dax you are killing it okay let's see what this final level looks like and oh my gosh this one is a lot harder because they're all hidden yep it is super crazy but that's the whole point let me see. Can I hit the one in the back? Perfect. I only have two left. And perfect. I only have one left. Let me see if I can do it. And oh, no. I missed the last one. Aw, uh, that means you stink. Okay, look. But then I went ahead and hit it. So there we go. I'm the best. I wouldn't say that. But you did your best. Okay, let's head on to the next room. Come with me this way to the bat parkour room. Whoa, bat core. Is this a bunch of, like, training that the bat baby has to do? Yep, it's going to be super crazy. Oh, my gosh, Dax. You're already doing it. Yep, I'm actually doing it. Let's see if I can make it all the way across. And perfect. Since I'm a Spider-Man, I'm, like, the best at parkour ever. I wouldn't say that. And whoa, this one, you have to go all the way to the bottom? Okay, that is kind of challenging. Yeah, it is super challenging. Let me see. And wait, I'm in career mode. I can literally just fly down like this and perfect. I beat your little parkour course. Good job, Dex. Now we have to go up this ladder to go back up. And uh, Zoe, wait, what is this bat roller coaster over here? Well, go in and see. Let's see. And whoa, you actually built a whole roller coaster in here? Yep. Isn't that super fun? The kids are going to love it. Okay, I want to try it first. Let's see. And whoa, this is super cool. And wait, it goes over lava, Zoe. That's dangerous. No, they'll be fine oh my goodness okay let's see where is this taking me and what the heck so literally the void is below me isn't that awesome uh it is cool but wait a second this literally just goes straight into the baby's bedroom are you sure that's safe that's super safe how are they supposed to get there in a quick way uh okay i don't know that's super safe but sure that was pretty cool thanks dex i tried super hard and now you can see my favorite room 
The best part of the whole place. Whoa, this is the bat cave. I can't wait to see what's down here. Let's go ahead and jump into the water. And whoa, wait, there's a plane down here. Yep, this is like an escape route. Oh, can I go ahead and try it out? Do it, Dex. Let's see. And I'm pretty good with flying planes. And oh my gosh, wait, this is actually super difficult. Come on, come on. And whoa, I have to go up super fast. What the heck? I'm literally flying out of the bat cave now. That was so much fun. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. Whoa, this is so cool. Okay, Zoe, your bat cave was like one of the coolest things ever. Thank you so much. And that was a super crazy video. If you want to watch the next one, click the video on screen. Bye, guys.